worked with Let's love, mouth. not with Let's hate. Go. You're working with hate. A debate heats up at Jacksonville State University, but not in the classroom, this time outside on the lawn. And the great God of the universe is gonna damn every drug, damn every liar, damn every homosexual, damn every single one of you girls that are having sex out of marriage. The source of debate, traveling preachers like Pentecostal brother Jim Giles. You love sex with girls. You're a horny little devil. Brother Jim travels across the country handing out religious literature and preaching to students on college campuses like here at Jacksonville State. He sometimes uses language that students find offensive, but he doesn't apologize for it. Some students will be offended by our preaching because many of them are guilty of the things that we preach against. You must repent of your sins. Students we spoke with say preachers do have a right to freedom of speech, but many say their message is offensive. She doesn't know anything about me or, or my religion of God or, or anything else like that. I think, personally, she just sounds like a hypocrite up there. I think she has a right to freedom of speech, though, everybody does. But it's not for you to She's definitely right. Agree with them or not, their presence attracted lots of attention, and that was their ultimate goal. Jesus Christ can still, still save their souls and set them free from their sins and give them a life worth living. We spoke with JSU officials today. They say the preachers have done nothing wrong. They say they have every right to be there. They went through the proper procedures and filed for a permit, and they were granted that, and Alabama law does allow them to do that on the campuses of state universities and college. We are live in Anniston. Jay Schloining, NBC 13 News at 5. All right, thanks, Jay, for that live report. Also from our eastern region, more drugs and alleged drug pushers are off the streets in one Alabama town. That begins our look at news from where you live. Undercover Talladega police arrested 17 suspected drug dealers following a three-month investigation. The drug sting. Dealer savings for you, your family, and your home. And it only happens once a year. 40 to 50% off coats. 50% plus an extra 10% off fashion jewelry. Save 50% on doctors for him. 40 to 50% off men's sweaters. Great savings for every room in your home and extra savings on fashion and home clearance. Plus, doorbusters, coupons, and more. The biggest sale of the year, Friday and Saturday. Shop both days, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. At Ridges. We've got it. The world's best 1999 automotive lineup is available now. Right here in central Alabama. The best for less. Toyota Camry. The best-selling car in America. Now just $2.29 a month with no, yes. Yes, no security deposit. Drive the best for less. 99 Camrys equipped with all the options you want. Just $2.29 a month with absolutely no security deposit. Forget the rest. And come see the best only at your central Alabama Toyota dealers. Now, NBC 13 Sports with Ken Lass. Brent Spigner of Vestavia is one of the best young quarterbacks in the Birmingham area this fall, and next Monday he will sign his Cotton Scholarship, but it won't be for football. Spigner will sign a baseball scholarship with Auburn. He will be the latest in a long line of Vestavia high stars to follow that pipeline to the Plains. But Brett won't be thinking much about baseball tonight. He will lead the number one ranked undefeated Rebels into the second round of the high school playoffs. Decatur coming into town. They are also undefeated. Last week they knocked Clay Chalkville out of contention. This will be one of our feature games on Sports Extra tonight at 10. We've, got, we've had great leadership out of our seniors. We've got 25 seniors this year and, and they've, they've put a lot into it and the main thing put in a lot of leadership and leading by example and they play real hard. Watch for us many more places covering playoff action tonight like Mountain Brook, Pelham, Oxford, and much more. Ah, but the number one question we get on the phone every Friday is always, when does our team play and what channel is showing it? Well, here you go. Alabama and Mississippi State is an 11.30 start on Jefferson Pilot. That's Channel 21 in Birmingham. Georgia at Auburn is a 6.30 p.m. kick on ESPN. Middle Tennessee plays UAB at Legion Field at 1. Samford tackles Elon on the road at 1. And Jacksonville State battles Southwest Texas State at 2 p.m. Casey Atwood is on the pole for Sunday season finale Bush Grand National Race in Miami. Dale Earnhardt Jr. only has to start the race to win the points title. The new basketball arena being constructed in Miami to house the Miami Heat of the NBA has caught fire. These pictures were taken just minutes ago of the American Airlines Arena. It's not known what started the fire. The NBA season has been postponed because of lack of a new labor contract.
If you're not into the high school football thing or the basketball thing, there's the hockey thing at the Civic Center tonight. Bulls hosting Mississippi. Bulls are 6-2-1. and one. Three points out of first place in the division. Face off at 7.30 p.m. They will warm up the Civic Center for Shania Twain on Sunday night. Mark McGuire may be the single season home run champ, but when it comes to value of souvenirs, hey, Babe Ruth is still king. Yesterday at an auction, an anonymous bidder purchased the first home run ball ever hit at Yankee Stadium. It was hit by Babe Ruth. The price, $126,500. Hello. Now you know why the bitter wanted to remain anonymous. Yeah. Right. He's embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. If he can afford it, though, he probably doesn't. And he doesn't want anybody much. knowing that ball yeah. rests in his house. I'm I, sure. I, I guess on paper, Georgia ought to beat Auburn tomorrow, but do you kind of feel like Auburn's got a chance? You in this get game? kind of a feeling about this game, rallying around Coach Oliver and yeah. all of that stuff, but we'll see. And if it rains uh, and they get some turnovers, who knows? Yeah, anything can happen. Any team can beat any other team on a given day. I, I said that first. <laughs> Did it you was his original phrase? thought. You know, I've never heard that before. <laughs> no, I know. It's very new. <laughs> Ken, thanks very okay. much. We turn to the star beat this evening. Actor Brad Pitt returns to his hometown for the premiere of his new film, Meet Joe Black. Pitt held a news conference and then spoke to the audiences of each of the four showings of the movie. Pitt is from Springfield, Missouri. Meet Joe Black opens in theaters nationwide tomorrow. And also on the star beat, Cameron Diaz is close to signing on the dotted line for Invisible Circus. It's a movie told through a series of flashbacks. At the same time, Diaz is already set for an Oliver Stone football tale called Any Given Sunday. I don't know why I said tomorrow. Meet Joe Black opens today. It opens today? Today. You can go today. All righty. All eyes were on the skies above Alabama today. And it wasn't because of the clouds, but an unusual object in the sky. What is that thing? We'll tell you. Coming up on NBC 13 today. No. No. This week at Parnell's and Eastwood Mall, we're having our biggest factory closeout sale ever. Three tractor trailer loads of designer living rooms by Bryant Manufacturing, one half price. Two loads of quality universal bedrooms and dining rooms, 60% off. One truckload of standard bedroom and living room tables. You save up to 75% and 12 months, same as cash. We've opened the former yielding building for this huge factory closeout sale. Parnell's, this week only, Eastwood Mall only. Excellent deal. I couldn't beat it. The price was right for us and our budget. Best deals that I could get anywhere. I couldn't find a better deal. I got a great deal. They really make you feel like they really care. It means the best deal that we could get in town. A monthly payment that I could afford. Real friendly folks. And they will work with you. Everything about this service was good. And I would recommend it highly to anyone who wanted to buy a car. Chevy Man. It happens all the time. The world turns around and one day goes by. Don't let this one day go by. Parisians one day sale. This Saturday, hundreds of sale items are 25 to 50% off. And with your 15% off newspaper coupon,